a very good evening to all of you uh, i hope i'm audible enough so that uh, you know i can actually start with this session so please let me know through the chats okay that's great so uh, uh, my first priority uh, is to actually go through uh, the test paper that you have already given last time so let me start with that uh, in case if you have any queries please feel free to ask me in between so a very good evening to all of you let me start with my session let me start with uh, you know questions okay so uh, this is the question that you have already actually uh, this question was already appeared in the last problem i mean sorry last test okay so uh, let me start with the first question that you had it's a multiplexer question so in the given below multiplexer output why they are asking you for where they have considered s2 as msb and s0 as lsb okay so let me begin with this so uh, they are asking you for output why i'm sure that everybody who is watching this video uh, knows very well how to get the equation for a given multiplexer okay if you don't know please people please concentrate let me actually explain you how to get the equation for the given multiplexer okay very easy look at this for example if uh, let's say it is a 4 is to 1 multiplexer okay it means it has got total four inputs and two select lines let me call those select lines as s1 s0 and let us say output is y and let us assume the inputs are i0 i1 i2 and i3 okay so we know very well what happens is when select lines are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 the respective output gets routed to output for example if s1 s0 happens to be 0 0 guys i0 gets connected at output so what is output y it is same as i same way for 0 1 what gets connected to y is actually i1 so for this you get i1 for 1 0 you get i2 and of course for 1 1 what you get is i3 in this case how to write the equation very easy very very easy look at this for that let me write the mean terms for every combination that is s1 s0 when they are 0 0 the mean term is s1 bar s0 bar like that for this it is s1 bar s0 for this it is s1 s not bar wherever i am taking bar just observe that the respective variable is zero here s1 is zero so it is taken as s1 bar here both of them are zero so it is taken s1 bar s not bar and at the end what i have is 1 1 so i'll take s1 s1 and finally i can write my equation as y equal to s1 bar s not bar multiplied by you have to take that input which is valid or which is getting connected to output y next i'll write s1 bar s0 times i1 plus s1 s0 bar times of course this time i'll take i2 and for last that is s1 s0 i'll take i3 and that becomes my full solution and that becomes my full equation for uh, 4 is to 1 multiplexer so this is how we deal with 4 is to 1 multiplexer on similar grounds i'm going to uh, deal with 8 is to 1 multiplexer okay so on smaller scale if you have understood this it is very very easy for you to even understand the next okay so let me just go back uh, to the question given okay now can you see that some of the inputs you know they are already connected to zero like i1 i2 uh, as well as i6 is also connected to zero but let us find the respective one i mean if you look at i0 it is connected to one okay if you look at i3 it is connected to d if you look at i4 it is connected to d complement for i5 it is d and at the end i7 is also one okay so what i'll do is at least i can ignore i1 and i2 because as well as i6 of course because even after taking the product with logic zero what product do you get guys you get logic zero only so what i'll do is i'll write combinations only for i0 i3 i4 i5 and i7 i i hope you are understanding okay so i'll write the final equation for y 
which is equal to so when i not get select, uh, selected can anybody tell me let me come towards you okay please let me know what do you think when this i not get selected guys what should be the value of s2 s1 s not for that can you please let me know i'm waiting for your inputs guys is there anybody who can answer me a very simple silly question i have asked you okay so obviously this will be s2 bar yes okay let me let me repeat what i said let me repeat what i said i asked that i asked that what you think when i not will get selected when i not will get connected to output y what should be the combination of s2 s1 s not for that that was my question i hope my question has reached you okay so obviously when s2 s1 s0 are 0 0 0 i not gets connected so i can write s2 bar okay we don't have to write it in terms of s2 s1 s0 we are going to write it in terms of a b c because if you see the options a b c d options they are in terms of a b c so let's not write it in terms of s2 s1 s0 let us write it in terms of a b c so let me rough this and let me write it in terms of a b c so guys when abc is 0 0 0 you understand i not gets selected so i'll write a bar b bar c bar it indicates that abc is 0 0 0 and it gets connected to i not okay but what is the value of i not guys the value of i not is 1 so we need not to even specify that plus i'll go next guys now if i want to select i1 i won't be selecting because i1 is by default 0 so for that the product will result into zero let's not waste our time similarly for i2 we did not to even specify for i3 yes we need to specify for i3 the combination is 0 1 1 so this is 0 1 1 times what is applied on i3 guys it is d so i'll writing i'll be writing d here okay i i hope you understood that okay plus plus now next uh, as you can see on i4 what, on what is applied on i4 is a d complement so i need to consider that so uh, 4 means 1 0 0 100 means it is a b bar c bar and then i'll write d bar correct okay next uh, on i5 i5 uh, you know d is applied as you can see so for 5 what is the combination guys it is 1 0 1 1 0 1 so 101 means what a b bar c and uh, you know uh, times what we have to do is i5 what is applied on i5 is d so i'll be writing d here plus at the end what i have is i7 okay so for i7 it should be a b c directly because a b c are 1 1 1 okay so uh, at the end what is connected on i7 is 1 so uh, we did not to specify that one here even if you write one it doesn't matter i, I hope you Uh, are understanding this okay so here what i need to do i need to see whether uh, if something is getting common or not, okay for the simplicity how it is going to get simplified okay if you observe carefully okay here ac is common as you can see ac is common here right so uh, let me go for it let me keep uh, all other variables to be same Okay, y is equal to a bar b bar c bar. I'll keep same. Uh, first term I'm keeping it same. Second term also I'll keep same, which is a bar b c d. Okay. Second term also I kept the same. Third term also I'm going to keep the same, which is a b bar c bar d bar. And from the fourth and fifth, as you can see, I can take you know a c common. if i take ac common what remains inside is you know b bar d plus b 
it is b power d plus b is there anybody uh, over here uh, can you please tell me how to apply how to apply which rule needs to get applied over here is there any rule is there any rule which is taught in boolean algebra i'm sure you are watching all the videos all the lectures sorry if i'm uh, replying you late i don't know or if there is any lag are you experiencing any lag okay okay uh, okay i i do not experience any glitch here at least at my end i don't know if at your end it is so oh my god it's 3 minutes lagging that's too much okay very good very good lokesh it is b plus d very good lokesh it is b plus d there in that case so in that case it is b plus d let me go for it okay so if it is b plus d then uh, you know equation will get simplified accordingly let me write it i'll go step wise need not to worry let me write the first term as it is which is a bar b bar c bar plus the second term is a bar b c d the third term is a b bar c bar d bar plus obviously if there is b plus d you know it gets uh, uh, multiplied with ac as well as d okay so this will be you know a b d i'm sorry it is ac d i mean to say so that will be you know uh, okay a b c plus a c d like that okay i can write uh, next as you can see uh, if you notice you know you can take actually c d common here you can take c d common here am i right okay so if it is so i can write now y is equal to a complement b complement c complement okay then if i take c d common what remains inside it is a bar b okay plus now from this term what is remaining is only a okay then uh, you know rest of the two terms that i have to write as it is which is a b bar c bar d bar plus a b c okay so likewise i am just uh, you know trying to reduce these terms i'm just trying to reduce these terms so ultimately it is a plus a bar b again if you use the uh, other laws it will be a plus b again okay with that you know i can uh, get you know a bar b bar c bar plus i'll get a bar b c d so this will be basically you know it will get converted into a plus b so what you will get over here is b c d plus a c d plus a b bar c bar d bar plus a b c this is what you will get and if you observe carefully you have to keep your eyes open okay for if if there is any other option which is matching with this okay so as in this case it is matching with option b if i am not wrong please correct me according to me this is matching with option b is this matching with option b guys please let me know i hope my voice is reaching you uh it's not option a it is option b it's option b kirti please correct yourself it is matching with option b because in option a there is d complement here and as you can see this is acd right so this has to be option b only so uh, guys i'm sure you must have understood this problem 
So uh, I think now I should move to the next problem in that case. Okay. So let me go to the next problem. Okay. So what they say, the minimum number of two is to one multiplexers needed. Minimum number of two is to one multiplexer needed without extra hardware uh, required to implement the following diagram is. This is what their question is. Okay. So let us see. Let us see. Okay. Uh, over here, uh, if you try to observe, actually it is, you know, I will say this is bubbled input. It is a bubbled input NAND gate. Can anybody help me here to know what is bubbled input NAND gate generally is? What is bubbled input NAND gate generally is? Can anybody tell me? Come on. Let me see how many people are actually watching the videos on the regular basis. They can tell me. Very good, Vinit. Very good. This is what we called as OR gate. Guys, you need not to uh, even, you know, uh, actually solve this completely. I mean, uh, like this, you don't have to go. I mean, this traditional approach, like, you know, let us say this is A bar, let us say this is B bar, and then, you know, this is a NAND gate. And what NAND gate does, it takes a product and gives you a complete bar. In that case, Y will be equal to A bar dot B bar whole bar. Then by applying De Morgan's theorem, it is A complement plus B double complement. So ultimately, this is A plus B. You should know this. You should know this. Every bubbled input NAND gate acts as OR gate. Uh, I'm sure if you have gone through my video lectures, I have uh, suggested certain shortcuts to uh, be uh, you know remembered. Okay. So please remember this. Bubbled input NAND gate is always by default OR gate. So what I want, guys, I want basically OR gate. But to implement that OR gate, what is available, guys? Two is to one multiplexer. And if you have gone through my videos, I have actually taught you how to implement logic gates by using two is to one multiplexer as well as four is to one multiplexer. I'm very much sure about it. Okay. Uh, if, if you don't know how to implement it using multiplexer, please let me know here that so that I explain you guys. Let me know if you do not know how to implement any logic gate by using two is to one multiplexer. Please let me know here. If you don't know, I'm ready to explain that. But if you know, let us not waste the time and we will go ahead with the next problem. Is there anybody who is watching this? Yes, Kirti. Yes, Kirti, definitely. If you are insisting, I'll definitely explain you. Okay, the next question has come by default. Okay, so uh, it, it's very easy. Kirti, please pay attention. Uh, suppose if we want some OR gate, okay? First of all, the step is, you prepare a truth table for the same, like for 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, and 1, 1 combination. So for 0, 0, what do you get? 0. For 0, 1, you get 1. For 1, 0, you get 1. For 1, 1, also you get 1. This is a truth table of OR gate, guys. This is a truth table of OR gate. Now, what you do, guys, is very simple. Make a two parts of it. Make a two parts of it. You can observe very well, A is equal to 0 for first two cases and A is equal to 1 for last two cases. So I can commonly say that for about two cases, A is equal to 0. And for last two cases, A is equal to what? 1. Now try to get the output Y in terms of B. I repeat, try to get output Y in terms of B for the first case and the second case. What is first case, guys? A equal to 0 is the first case. A equal to 1 is the second case. Very simple. Okay. Now let me try to get this Y. Let me try to get this Y. Very simple, guys. Okay. If you observe B is 0, Y is also 0. B is 1, Y is also 1. Can I say that Y is simply equal to B in that case? Yes, I can say that. Y is simply equal to B. Last. When, okay, for last, last case, that is A equal to 1 case. Try to get Y in terms of B, guys. Okay. Over here, when B is 0, Y is 1. When B is 1, Y is still 1, meaning that Y is always 1. Y is always 1. Y is not B bar. Y is always 1 for A equal to 1. I hope everybody has understood that. Okay. And this is how what I want to implement using 2 is to 1 multiplexer. People, please pay attention. What I'll do is I'll go for 2 is to 1 multiplexer. I'll go for 2 is to 1 multiplexer. You know that it has got only one select line. 
and it has got two inputs. Okay, one select line and two inputs. What I will do is this select line, I will go for A. I mean, you know, at the end, what I want is OR gate, guys. What I want is OR gate. So assume that the inputs of OR gates are A and B. Output is Y. Output is Y. Out of one input, out of one input, I have applied as a select line. So this is acting as a select line. Okay. Everybody, please pay attention. Now, in this two is to one multiplexer, guys, whenever the select line is equal to zero, I repeat, whenever the select line is equal to zero, let me assume this one as I naught and this one as I one. Okay. So, guys, please tell me, whenever select line is equal to zero, where Y gets connected to? Can anybody tell me? When select line is equal to zero, where output Y gets connected to? Can anybody explain me that? Hello, are you all there? Is there anybody who can tell me? Very good, very good. It gets connected to I naught. It gets connected to I naught whenever A is equal to what? Zero. But when A is equal to zero, what you want at output guys, you want output at to be B. Model of the story, I'll connect B over here. I'll connect B over here so that whenever A is equal to zero, Y will be equal to B. Y will be equal to B because Y gets connected at I naught. So at I naught, I have applied B. I hope you have understood that. On similar grounds, whenever A is equal to one, guys, whenever A is equal to one, whenever A is equal to one, output gets connected at I1. But my question is, when A is connected at one, what output you want? Logic one. Okay, let me apply logic one here. And that's it, guys. That's it. As you can see, to implement this OR gate, I required only one twist to one multiplexer. So the answer is one. Answer is one. It's a numerical answer type question. How many minimum number of two is to one multiplexers are needed? Okay, in order to implement the given logic diagram, it is nothing but uh, you know one. It is one. I, I hope. Uh, even Kirti, Lokesh, Vinit, you, you are understanding this. Please let me know if you have any query. Kirti, I hope your internet connection is working. Very good, Lokesh. Okay, so I'm sure you understood this. This is very, very easy. Very, very easy. Please go through my all videos. Those who are watching it for first time, in order to see complete videos, no issues. You can just uh, use this open code, which is gold 11. Okay. And you can subscribe this course for free for a few days. Okay. So uh, let me just go ahead. Let me just go ahead with the next question. Okay. Let me go to the next question. Okay. What it says in the below diagram, full adder is implemented with half adders along with OR gate. And uh, if you are watching my all videos very carefully, I have taken this uh, sum actually. I mean, how do we implement this? Uh, so whenever you want to implement full adder using half adder, this is the only option, guys. This is the only option, okay? So, uh, okay. So we have already seen this diagram in the notes. Let us see what their question is all about, okay? In the question, what they're asking. In the above diagram, half adders are already designed with two NAND gates. Okay, with only nine gates, not sorry. It's let me correct, not two nine gates by using only nine gates. That's what they want to say. Cost of one nand is two unit rupees, and cost of or gate is five unit rupees. Okay, then what is the total cost required for the above uh, design is? Okay, that's what the question is. Uh, is there anybody who can answer this, or is there anybody who can give me the clue? How to solve this problem? Yes, guys. Is there anybody? Okay, Vinit has come up with the answer directly. And uh, let me tell you, Vinit, you are right. You are absolutely right. Okay, but is there anybody who wants me to suggest how to go about this sum? Easy guys, is that easy? Let me tell you, how do we implement half adder guys? How do you implement half adder? Very easy, by, by using only nine gates. By using only nine gates. Very good, one half adder requires five nine gates. Very good, very good, very good. 
So one half adder is going to require only five NAND gates. And how come? I'm sure you remember that standard diagram. I keep telling in even my in theory lectures that you have to remember XOR gates, XOR gates. Okay, always I keep on saying that. See, guys, this is basically the original half adder. You know, A B input, where A XOR with B. This is nothing but the sum, and taking A and B with a product. That is A B. This is what we call as carry. This is called as sum. Now, if I want to implement it by using only NAND gates, okay. So first of all, you worry about this XOR gate. You worry about this XOR gate, okay. So for XOR gate, we have got a standard diagram for that. We have got a standard diagram for that. I'm sure people do remember that. This is how we draw. Okay. And this A is connected over here. This B is connected over here. So this is a standard diagram for XOR gate guys. So you know one, two, three, uh, four. So far, so far, four NAND gates are needed. Four NAND gates are needed. And if you connect, and if you connect, you know one. Uh, okay. Uh, what what you want guys? You know AB. Okay. If you observe carefully. What you have over here is AB complement. What you have over here is AB complement. See, over here you are already getting A XOR with B. There is no problem. So, uh, you know, for XOR gate we have already drawn. This is the standard circuit for XOR gate. What I want is carry to be AB. But can you see that what we have available with us is AB complement? So why not to take a tap here? Why not to take a tap over here, and you know, connect it for carry? So carry, what it will do? You know, it will act as a NOT gate. So obviously output will be equal to what AB. Moral of the story: I require even a fifth gate. Moral of the story: to require to implement half adder one, we require five gates, uh, five NAND gates, and five NAND gates for half adder two. Okay. So this is how five plus five. I will say ten NAND gates are required. Ten NAND gates are required, and cost of one NAND gate is how much rupees? It is two unit. It is. Two rupees per unit. Moral of the story: I require twenty rupees. I require total twenty rupees for NAND gate. Okay, but do not forget we have got OR gate also here, and they have clearly mentioned that you require five rupees per OR gate. So this is additionally five rupees I need. Okay, so total total if you see it is rupees twenty five. So rupees twenty five is the answer, guys. Rupees twenty five is the answer. Let me know, guys, if you have any query in this. It's very easy problem. Very easy problem, provided you are watching all my videos on a regular basis. You are watching everything without skipping a single concept. Then only you will understand this. If you are just coming here and watching only YouTube live lectures, you will not even understand a single topic, even for other subjects, because every professor have got something to say. Will have the reference with the. Uh, already pre-recorded videos that we already have on our portal, guys. Okay, so uh, I I hope you are catching up this. Okay, that's great. That's great. So uh, okay, let us let us move ahead with the next problem. In that case. Where right. the next problem is, yeah. So uh, let let us read what is the question. Minimum number of two input NAND gates required to reconstruct the given logic circuit is okay. So let let us see first of all what is the output expression. Okay. Uh, for example, over here this is AND gate, right? So what do we have here is AB, and this is XOR. So what expression do we have over here is a XOR with B, and later on this is also XOR. So ultimately, let me write Z. Z is basically a XOR with B, and this is XOR with AB. Sorry to say that again, but let me uh, again tell you that a XOR with B, XOR with AB. I have already covered this kind of problem. And uh, if you remember that I have taken one DRDO question on the same, okay. And uh, you know this is simplified as a plus b basically. This is simply specified as a plus b, nothing else, okay. 
so uh, obviously if you want uh, you know uh, a plus b expression and for a plus b expression if you want to use nand gates if you want to use a nand gate to express a plus b obviously you will require three nand gates obviously you will require three nand gates how to do that z is equal to a plus b i'll take a double complement of this what do you get this is equal to a bar complement dot b bar complement okay so to have complement of a you require one nand so you get a bar obviously we will have given whole bar ahead i'm so sorry for that and then we have a b complement and both we have to take a product and then complement again what do you require is a nand gate okay so basically uh, you know that or gate is bubbled input nand gate right so obviously you require 1 2 and 3 so 3 is the answer guys 3 is the answer okay and yes there are people who may get wondered sir how come a x or with b uh, with x or with ab how come it is a plus b so for that i can uh, prove it very easily okay so if it is a x or with b x or with ab can i rewrite this one as a x or with now what i'll do is you know i'll take just take this b outside because it is constant what remains inside is one x or with a one x or with a so let me tell you the speciality of uh, xor gate in xor gate if one of the input is connected to zero it acts as a buffer but if in xor gate if one of the input is connected to one it acts as a inverter okay inverter means it is going to take a complement moral of the story if you uh, take xor with one for any variable you know it becomes a complement moral of the story what it remains is a xor with a bar gate in that case okay and this is now you have to only expand okay treat this one as a x or with b how do you basically write a x or with b very simple a bar b plus a b bar so a bar b if i write a bar and b is what it is a bar b okay plus a b bar so let me write a and b bar as a bar b whole bar isn't it very easy what is a bar into a bar boss it is a bar only. so what do you have is a bar b at the end plus let me expand this you know uh, it is a bar b whole bar so by de morgan's theorem uh, it will be you know uh, a bar i mean a double bar plus you know b bar so what do i have is again it is a bar b plus a double complement cancel each other what remains inside is only a plus b bar correct next what do i get now it is a bar b plus a into a is again a plus a b bar correct guys now what i can take you know i can take again a common i can take a common so what remains inside it is a bar b plus if i take a common what remains inside is 1 plus b bar so 1 plus b bar remains 1 what is ultimately remaining guys you know it is a plus a bar b and by other laws a plus a bar b is a plus b this is how i can actually prove okay so lokesh is saying that in the previous question instead of adding or gate we can do it using nand gate uh no lokesh we can't do that no lokesh we can't do that i'll tell you reason why because that is the circuit which was given by them so you cannot do any experiments in that so we have to accept the same circuit which they have already given but let me tell you to get the final carry let me just go back to the uh, that problem to get the final carry it is mandatory to have or gate there is no other option it is mandatory to have this or gate you, you can just see uh, when i have uh, you know uh, covered this in combinational logic circuit it's the first topic you will find half adder then you will require, then you will have full adder and then there is separate topic i have taken full adder using only half adders so uh, in in that you will find this diagram as it is as it is okay so obviously every or gate can be uh, you know replaced with nand gate there is no question about it 
but then uh, since they have given the circuit we cannot do anything and secondly they have also mentioned the cost of or gate so there is no question of replacing the or gate okay lokesh so uh, i guess now we need to switch the next question okay so uh, this is what we have already solved guys let me know if you have any problems in this okay so let me move to the next problem okay the suitable mean term the suitable mean term uh, or value of given multiplexer at pin 0 from the given options if the multiplexer produces a boolean function which is y not is equal to a plus b y not is equal to a plus b okay it is just simple you know it is option a straight away it is option a it is straight away option a let me tell you how okay everybody please look up 4 is to 1 marks we have okay let us say we don't want or gate okay let let us say we want you know and gate uh, okay let us go for or gate only. if we if you want or gate let us write the truth table of or gate a b 0 0 0 1 1 0 in or gate you know for 0 0 what you are supposed to get 0 for 0 1 you should get 1 for 1 0 you get 1 and for 1 1 you get 1 so what you do guys what you do guys in 4 is to 1 multiplexer it is very simple 0 1 2 3 these are four inputs right so for this four inputs what you do you just apply 0 1 here i mean you just take this output and you just copy paste over here at the inputs of 4 is to 1 box and then you apply you know a and b as select lines here and you get output that's it we are done guys we are done guys check it out so if ab is 0 0 what will happen y will get connected to 0 and you get y equal to 0 so this is how it is acting as or gate so for zero one combination it gets connected to y1 uh, sorry i1 and then you know y becomes one moral of the story to implement or gate by using four is to one multiplexer zero triple one must be applied so this is by default zero so option a is the correct option this is very easy one this was very e easy one problem let me tell you guys okay if you actually see uh, the solution in the book or uh, the solution provided uh, maybe when when you give exam you get even solution i guess right uh, when you see the result you get even a solution for that so uh, in that uh, i have seen the method they have actually done it very complex okay what they have done you know uh, they have actually added those mean terms and after reducing that they come to know this is a plus b but let me tell you those uh, whose concepts are very much clear guys you know they will never ever go for such uh, simplification method okay just by observation only you should understand okay this 0 triple 1 should be copied at the input that is nothing but output of uh, or gate so i'm sure you uh, understood this question and there is no point to discuss more on this right okay so next is uh, more over theoretical question such questions when they are they are given in terms of statements and when they are asking you for true and false uh, correct incorrect statement uh, let me tell you these are such dangerous questions i mean uh, you should know in and out about the uh, subject the topic and then only you will be able to answer such questions let's go for statement number 1 what it says so uh, let me write the question first okay refer the statement given below and then select the correct option statement 1 says any four variable function can be implemented by using not gates and two is to one multiplexer this is what they are claiming this is what they are claiming two is to one multiplexer and uh, and not gates okay so how how do we go about it okay uh, so i believe that statement one is wrong statement one is straight away wrong is there anybody over here who can tell me how the statement becomes wrong hello guys is there anybody who can tell me or let me put it in this way everyone please pay attention everyone can anybody help me to know uh, what kind of multiplexer it is 
perfectly said vinil yes right you are right can you tell me which type of multiplexer it is very good it is 4 is to 1 multiplexer it is 4 is to 1 multiplexer so let me tell you how many select lines does it have that is my question so this is a 4 is to 1 multiplexer how many select lines does it have i will say obviously two variables are there am i right two variables are there if two variables are there we can easily implement functions as f of a comma b so i can say that two variable functions two variable functions can be implemented can be implemented very easily by 4 is to 1 multiplexer let us say if i'm trying to expand it to let's say 8 is to 1 multiplexer so in 8 is to 1 multiplexer what will happen 0 1 2 up to 7 you know such eight inputs are there and then i will have s2 s1 s0 so s2 s1 s0 can be given as abc so let me tell you you can implement very easily three variable functions three variable functions you can use okay meaning that meaning that number of variables number of variables required is always equal to number of select lines if number of variable and number of select lines are matching let me tell you you do not require extra hardware you do not require extra hardware i i hope you understand my point i hope you understand my point okay so let me tell you they are saying for four variable guys come on guys with four variable with four variable how many select lines you should have so that you require absolutely no hardware can anybody answer me if you want a four variable function to get implemented which multiplexer is the most suitable multiplexer if you don't want the extra hardware can anybody tell me i hope my question is reaching to you let me repeat my question to implement four variable function without a single extra hardware which multiplexer is suitable in that case very good vinil it is 16 is to 1 16 is to 1 without any hardware without any hardware without any hardware but for example let me rub this okay so for four variable function what is required 16 is to 1 max plus absolutely no extra hardware no extra hardware i hope you are getting my point but for example but for example if you want to implement four variable function but by using 8 is to 1 multiplexer by using 8 is to 1 multiplexer let me tell you now there is a problem what is the problem guys in this case in 8 is to 1 multiplexer the problem is you got only three select lines guys you got three select lines so let me tell you out of four variables three variable will be taken care of three variable will be taken care of and remaining one input will come at input of 8 is to 1 multiplexer so you require 8 is to 1 multiplexer along with some not gates along with some not gates I, i hope you are getting because in this case what will happen if you go for you know 8 is to 1 multiplexer if you go for 8 is to 1 multiplexer and when you have three select lines here when you will have three select lines here let us say you know b c d okay out of a b c d because you got four variables so you will have a b c d four variables only three variables are taken care of by 8 is to 1 multiplexer because of the fact that it has got only three select lines moral of the story which line is left guys line a is left so if you uh, actually see the function if you see the function very carefully somewhere it will be a somewhere it will be a complement somewhere it will be one applied somewhere it will be zero applied so these are the only possible combinations so at the most what you need is a complement and nothing else so it is to one multiplexer along with the not gates will do there is no problem there is no problem i i hope you are getting my point okay in that case in that case suppose let me just you know uh, go for the next combination let us say if i am going for 4 is to 1 multiplexer guys 
Now this is something problematic because in four is to one multiplexer, it has got only two select lines, only two select lines. So out of A, B, C, D, which are four variables, only C and D will be taken care of. Only C and D will be taken care of. And at the input of this four is to one multiplexer, you know, there, there will be, you know, combination of A and B. There will be a combination of A and B. Somewhere, maybe it is A plus B. Okay, somewhere it may be equal to A complement. Somewhere it will be, you know, A, B, uh, NAND gate is required. So we don't know. We absolutely don't know what you will require. So, you know, in that case, you know, 4 is to 1 multiplexer along with that, you require some extra hardware. That extra hardware cannot be defined until and unless the real function is given to me, guys. Okay. So, uh, yes, yes, I, I hope you guys are understanding me, uh, provided, as I said, that, you know, to actually explain this, uh, you know, a dedicated lecture needs to be taken on multiplex. Okay. So that depth will come only when provided you have actually seen those theory lectures. So guys, it is very, very important to go for it. Okay. So let me again come to the point. Okay. So for a four variable function, you know, if you have only two is to one multiplexer, if you have only two is to one multiplexer, only not gates are not necessary. You may require some other extra hardware also. In that sense, you know, S1 is false. S1 is false. S2 will also become false. Why? Because it says any four variable function can be implemented by using AND gates and two is to one multiplexer. Boss, you cannot decide whether you require not gate, AND gate. You may require an AND gate. You may require anything. Moral of the story, S2 is false statement. S2 is also false statement, okay? So let me go for S3 statement at least, okay? Let me go for S3 statement. Okay, what S3 says, any two variable function can be implemented by using sufficient number of 4 is to 1 multiplexers. Okay, so uh, obviously for 4 is to 1 multiplexer, you already have, you already have, you know, two variables here. You already have a two variable here. So two variable can be definitely, uh, you know, implemented by using only one four is to one multiplexer. Okay. So you don't require even a sufficient number of uh, four is to one. One four is to one multiplexer is uh, enough to implement any two variable function. Model of the story, S3 has to be two. C option is correct, which is S3 is correct. Let me know guys, if you have understood this. Please let me know guys, if you have understood this. Okay, that is super. Let me go to the next one. Find output Y naught. Find output Y naught for the given circuit below. So what you have is a half adder and then blah, blah, blah. Okay, let me just go for it. So what do you get over here? Uh, since they say it is half adder guys, you will get a sum here that is nothing but a XOR with B and later on what is applied here C. So what do you get? Sum over here is definitely a XOR with B XOR with C hundred percent. Okay. And thereafter what they have done is they have connected a select line here. They have connected a select line here and they have designed some multiplexer circuit. This is some multiplexer circuit. Okay. What I'll do, you know, uh, I'll just, uh, you know, I'll, I'll try to make it X, for example, I'll try, just try to make it X. Okay. Uh, or let me just say, you know, let me just say this one as carry two. Let me say this is carry number two. Let me say this is carry number one. Okay. So observe carefully whenever carry is equal to zero, why not is simply carry one. So when carry two is zero, my output why not is carry one. And whenever my carry input two is equal to one, my output is always one. My output is always one. If you observe carefully, this multiplexer is basically an OR gate. Please understand my point. This is basically OR gate, simply OR gate. If you do not believe this, let me just go back and let me show you uh, a few time uh, before, uh, you know, we, we have already done this circuit. I've already made you understand how to make it, how to make it a multiplexer. 
how to make it multiplexer uh, i mean how to make it or gate with the help of multiplexer okay so it says that when one of the input is connected with zero output is by default the another input and if a input is equal to 1 uh, output is simply one output is simply one so if you see carefully it is one and the same thing it is one and the same thing which is happening there if you look at this carefully this is basically or gate this is basically or gate guys okay this is basically or gate so if this is or gate and if it is actually summing up the carry moral of the story this is actually full adder circuit so this logic circuit is basically what full adder and let me tell you this why not is nothing but the final carry this is nothing but the final carry and if you remember the final carry for full adder it is simply ab plus bc plus ac so just by observation i can say this is option d guys this is option d hey let me know guys if you have understood this please let me know if you have understood this this is basically full adder and the last multiplexer it's simply simply or gate see uh, you know at this level if you solve the problem then only it is going to uh, really benefit you otherwise if you go through each and every step and if you keep on solving that no doubt you will get the solution but by the time when you will get the solution you will not have extra time with you to solve rest of the problems okay so uh, i'm sure i'm sure you uh, you all are getting this you all are getting this uh okay so guys uh, let me now go to the next problem if we have any okay so now uh, it is asking you the output of the given circuit it is asking you output of the given circuit let me know if you can answer this question let me know if you can answer this question very easy guys very easy please let me know what you get over here is a complement what you get over here is b complement can i say this is basically bubbled input nor gate bubbled input nor gate it simply and gate guys it is simply and gate what i can easily say is output of this is ab okay what do i have here is c complement okay so what do i get over here it's simply a into b whole bar so it is ab into c bar and then whole bar and uh, ultimately what this not get will do you know it will just remove this so ultimately output is simply abc complement so abc complement means it has to be option d it has to be option d guys let me know if you have understood this this was this was pretty simple this was pretty simple guys so it was very easy yes now we have this problem now okay which gate it is trying to implement which gate it is trying to implement in the next question okay this is what uh, we have to observe carefully so we will go on every level of nand you know uh, i mean every level of this uh, gate and we will see so what do we have over here is a bar okay and what do we have over here is basically uh, a x nor with b it is a x nor with b so what do i have on i not it's simply product of a complement with a x nor with b this is what i have on i not okay what is available on i1 let us see carefully okay as you can see the simple b connection is given and this is a not gate so what do i have on i1 is simply b bar okay and because of the bypass uh, simply b is available here so basically basically this is a 2 is to 1 multiplexer and for 2 is to 1 multiplexer output y is you know s not bar into i1 i mean i not plus s not into i1 this is what the standard equation for 2 is to 1 multiplexer isn't it so what i'm going to do s complement so when i say s complement what is s not it is b so i will say it is b complement what is available on i not 
on i naught this is available so let me write it it is a bar dot a x nor with b isn't it plus then you have simply s not and what is s now s not is basically b okay so uh, this is b into uh, you know i1 and what is i1 here i1 is b bar i1 is b bar so obviously this product will result into zero so what you have to do is uh, you know it is a bar dot b bar and this a x nor with b this a x nor with b needs to get uh, you know a result a bar b bar plus ab basically this is x not okay then a bar into a bar b bar it's simply a bar b bar plus a bar b bar into ab will be absolutely zero so what is remaining is just a bar dot b bar and this can be taken as a plus b whole bar and then this is not get so option c is the correct option very good so people have already predetermined this answer uh, great guys so you, you you are really working hard i'm proud of you great so uh, i'm sure so far a session is going great uh, so far you are understanding everything uh, you are giving paper regularly do give that for each and every uh, you know I'll, i'll tell you you know uh, subject we are giving those topic wise test please concentrate on that i assure that that if you solve each and every question of that uh, each and every theory uh, and the problems taken by us if you even do that much only you are going to score very good marks in gate exam but i will tell you you must have that consistency you shouldn't get bored in between you shouldn't leave the things uh, uh, you know uh, in between keep doing it guys keep doing it restlessly keep doing it okay if you are restless now you will have uh, uh, you know rest uh, for rest of the life okay so uh, guys keep working hard and you know and uh, you will you will definitely get fruits of it for sure okay so uh, again we have got some theory question here without using extra hardware only 132 is to one size multiplexer is used to implement what okay so without even actually reading the question without even reading the question i can identify for 32 is to 1 guys for 32 is to 1 multiplexer means how many select lines guys we have already understood that five select lines so five variable function can be implemented no problem five variable function can be implemented uh, that too by using without hardware that too by using without hardware okay so uh, what what option a says five variable functions all five variable functions but not even one single six variable function this is what it is saying this is what it is saying not even a single six variable function okay is there anybody who can help me out for this come on guys so we have to uh, you know uh, take the <clears throat> yes tell me which option is correct out of this it says all five variables and six variable functions so this is bullshit this we, we cannot do so. we cannot do so okay uh, or option d says all four variable functions and five variable functions but not other functions this is what option d says this is what option d says and option c says all five variable functions and some of six variable functions but not all so i think c makes sense c makes sense that all five variable functions and uh, out of six there are few variable functions i can say not all but they can be implemented by using only 132 is to 1 multiplexer in which cases i'll tell you when i say five variable it means it has got a b c d e okay i i guess these are five yeah five variables are there out of which uh, if i'm using uh, uh, you know for six variable so for six variable it means we have got one more variable so i can take b c d e a f as a select lines so select lines will take care of it so what is remaining guys you know a so only a is left so that a uh, you know uh, it will actually applied at the inputs of multiplexer at the inputs of multiplexer but it might happen 
that if you are lucky you know you will get only a and you may not require a bar sometime maybe somewhere you require zero somewhere you require one and rest of the cases it is a then in that case you don't require extra hardware but again this is not valid for all six variable functions some or the other time will come when you will require a bar and to implement a bar you require a not okay that's the reason why only option c makes sense only option c makes sense option b is incorrect option b is incorrect because it says that all six variables can be implemented no guys it is not possible so option c makes sense amongst all even option d is wrong okay so it says all four variables yes it is true all five variable functions yes it is true but not other functions no there are some of six variable functions that can be implemented therefore option d is wrong okay great great vinay that's great vinay i'm sure now you have even understood this question also so uh, that's the reason why i said that you know for this you have to actually uh, watch my all videos because there i have actually taken the problem see until and unless you uh, uh, do not solve such problem real time you may not actually conclude the things this way okay so uh, i guess uh, the time has come to move to the next problem okay so that's what the question is let us assume the every not gate required uh, cost is 1 rupees and three input and gate cost is 2 rupees the minimum cost required for designing 3 is to 8 size active high output decoder is okay so for that i'm sure you remember 3 is to 8 decoder is working very good vinay very good vinay so for 3 is to 8 decoder if you got three inputs as abc and eight outputs are there you know y not y1 up to what y7 so if you look at y not what is y not guys you know it is simply a bar b bar c bar okay because for 0 0 0 you get y not to be 1 i'm sure you uh, remember what is 3 is to 8 decoder three inputs with eight outputs out of eight only one output is active at a time that is when y not is equal to 1 all others are zero when y1 is equal to 1 all rest of like y not and from y2 to y7 all of them are zero so the rule of the 3 is to 8 decoder is at a time only one output is active at any given time and that depends upon what combination you have provided at input abc i i hope you are understanding that okay so uh, for you know why not it is a bar b bar c for y1 it is uh, simply 0 0 1 so it is a bar b bar c okay i i hope you are understanding this and to actually implement this you know what do you require basically you know re you require and gates you require not gates like that so if if i actually you know uh, start drawing such circuit sometimes you require a sometimes you may require a complement so a bar is required sometimes you require b sometimes you require a b complement so let me just write it this way sometimes you require only c or you may require c complement like that now to have this y not guys you know it is a bar b bar c bar so i'll take a bar i'll take b bar i'll take c bar i will have one and gate here and that is simply my y not similarly i require a bar b bar c so i'll take a bar here b bar here and then i have got only c so i'll take and get here i'll get y1 in likewise you know i can go up to y7 likewise i can go up to y7 and for y7 it is abc so i'll take only a i'll take only b i will take only c i will require another angle and this is how do i get y7 so if you actually keep counting this if you keep counting this if i say this is and get number 1 and get number 2 likewise you require 8 9 and gates so number of and gates are basically required is 8 number of not gates 3 and that makes your complete circuit so for and gate the cost is 2 rupees so how much is required here 16 rupees and cost of one not gate one not gate what is the cost okay it is 1 rupees it is 1 rupees so it is 3 rupees here model of the story you require 19 rupees if i am not wrong please correct me if i am wrong so you require a 19 rupees 
I I hope everybody is getting that. Very easy problem. Very very easy problem. It's just they are asking you the equivalent circuit of three to eight, uh, you know, decoder. And you know, of course, you need not to draw it completely. Just take a guess how many AND gates are required, how many NOT gates are required. Calculate the total cost. Nothing else. So uh, I I hope everybody is getting that. Okay, so let me go to the next problem. If we have yes, so this is the last problem. I guess we have with us. Okay, so uh, in this diagram, the propagation delay uh, for NOT gate is ten nanoseconds. Okay, what is meant by propagation delay? I'm sure you know that. Okay, for example, let me tell you. Uh, initially, assume that you know output was zero here. It means by default input was one. So let us say this was zero. The moment this one changes to zero, let's say this zero should change to one. This zero should change to one. Immediate basis, it should change to one. But let us assume if the NOT gate is having ten nanosecond delay. So definitely, this is going to become one. The moment this is going to become zero, but not immediately. It will happen after ten nanoseconds, and that's the reason why it is called as a delay. That's the reason why it is called as a delay. Likewise, it was happening, uh, you know, previously with me also uh, in this lecture that you were asking me something and I was answering you after some time. So you said that some delay is happening. So I'm sure you understand this delay very well. So this delay is basically a ten nanoseconds of delay. So you understand that. Let us assume the initial state of Y is logic one. Okay, let us assume this is Y equal to one. The signal frequency to be available at Y and the type of waveform available is obviously one NOT gate with the feedback will definitely give you the square wave. How come? Very simple. Look at this. You know, since output is one, what they said initially, so one gets a feedback here. So what one will become, guys? It will become zero. Then zero have a feedback here. What zero will become one? Then one will become zero. Like this, you know, this will continuously happen. If this is continuously happening, I'll keep on getting these square waves. I'll keep on getting these square waves. So definitely, the type of waveform will be square wave, and therefore option B and option D are wrong, which claims that they are a triangular wave. Okay, so only two options are left. You know, square wave is hundred percent correct, but what I have to determine is a frequency. What I have to determine is a frequency. So how do I get that? Is there anybody who can help me out for that? How do I get the frequency, guys? Very simple. Okay. So if you can see the propagation delay time is a ten nanosecond. It means for ten nanoseconds this will remain one. For next ten nanoseconds it will remain zero. So every time it is going to take ten nanoseconds. Okay. So meaning that if you see a total time period, if you see the total time period, this will be what twenty nanoseconds. So if you want to get the frequency, it is simply inversion of time. Get the answer, guys. Get the answer. It is one upon twenty nanoseconds. What is the correct answer? Come on, it is obviously fifty megahertz. Use your calculators. You get fifty megahertz is the answer. And please do not use normal scientific calculators. Download the app called as uh, you know Gate Calculator and try calculating on that only because the normal uh calculators are not allowed in the gate exam in gate exam they do demand the gate calculators so please do download the gate calculator so that you know you can actually uh, get habituated to that so uh, that's it from uh, my side guys uh, for today uh, thank you so much for attending this session uh, my experience is always been good with you guys you guys keep answering the questions you guys you know uh, keep solving these problems given by me and i'm uh, very proud of you that you uh, always take a active participation in this so uh, uh, keep loving these lectures guys uh, hit a like button keep sharing with your friends uh, invite your friends on ikeda platform uh, that's it from uh, me guys thank you hello parag rani you said hi abhishek sir so
I was a bit afraid about what you mean to say. You mean to say hi, Abhishek sir. Hi. So, uh, thank you so much, guys. Uh, this is from me today. And please take care of yourself. Get your vaccination when your turn is there as soon as possible. Thank you. Good night and enjoy guys. Thank you, Lawrence. Bye. Good night. Take care.